This morning at an analyst meeting held by Nortel Networks is giving that stock a boost after the communications equipment maker reaffirmed that it expects strong growth in sales of optical, wireless, and internet equipment through 2001. Take a look at how the stock has done over the past six months. And this move lower down from a high of $89 a share is where uh, people were worried about telecom uh, companies slowing down their spending going into 01. Apparently today, the company uh, uh, reaffirmed guidance, and that has the stock up. 9%. Darby Mullaney is here with what went on at that meeting. Darby. Uh, Maria, Nortel Networks presented a pretty upbeat picture at its annual analyst meeting, which happened today in Boston. And while its rival, Lucent, struggles, Nortel said that it sees strong growth going forward. Analysts say there have been fears for the past few weeks that Nortel might have lowered its guidance, but the company did the opposite today, reaffirming the outlook it first presented on November 1st. Here is what Nortel foresees through 2001. For the fourth quarter of 2000, ending in December, Nortel expects revenues to be between $8.5 billion and $8.8 billion. It expects earnings per share from operations of $0.26. Cents. That guidance consistent with the street's view. For the full year 2000, the company is expecting 2,000 revenues and earnings from operations to show growth in the low 40% range. It expects optical internet revenues to grow more than 125% in 2000 to more than $10 billion. That optical uh, component is definitely something that investors have been keeping a close eye on, wanting to know the growth there. In the first quarter of 2001, Nortel expects revenues to be $8.1 billion to $8.3 billion and earnings to come in at $0.16. Cents. And for the full year 2001, Nortel expects to exceed the overall market growth of 20%. It expects revenues and earnings per share from operations to grow by 30 to 35%. Now, shares of Nortel have been slammed after the company posted third quarter fiber optic equipment sales that disappointed investors. Its shares were further pressured last week amid rumors that Nortel lost sales at Quest to equipment rival Sienna. Nortel strongly denied that rumor again today, saying it had not lost any significant contracts to anyone. Now, analyst Gregory Geiling of J.P. Morgan says that Nortel has been beating its guidance over the past year. The big question now is whether the company's outlook will prove accurate and where capital expenditure spending will be. Nortel believes that it is going to be healthy, but Geiling says there's still a lot of debate about that. And Maria, one other note. Uh, last week, the stock was also weighed down by rumors that there might be some layoffs at Nortel. Today, the company came out and said they're going to be increasing its number of employees mm. next year to above the uh, 80,000 level. So that's another uh, thing that they had to contend with. But as you say, that uh, the issue over telecom spending, what level it's going to be at, that is still right. a big question that people are debating. Stock is down. I'm just looking at a chart here. Down about 35% in two months just because yeah. of those worries. Mm -hmm. And after the uh, third quarter report. Right. Okay. Thank okay. you, Darby. Darby Mullaney. Well, as we have been telling you, Lucent, a big story of the day, once again getting slammed. Has the stock finally hit rock bottom? We will discuss the network equipment company woes with analyst Tom Loria of ING Bearings. He was also at that Nortel meeting. We'll find out what he felt about management. Back in two minutes with that.